The film is a, um, an arts-based project. We've been working on it for about 15 years. Uh, it's a film about the uh, celebrated artist Ralph Steadman, uh, who's a good friend. And over these years, we've been making a kind of multimedia, a multi-texture kind of film about uh, Ralph's life, which includes uh, his history with Hunter S. Thompson, the writer, the famous writer. Uh, they worked on Fear and Loathing together, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um, through that connection, um, Ralph is a good friend of Johnny Depp's, and so we've had Johnny um, contribute to the film, which has been fantastic. He, um, he conducts the film, in fact, and does voiceovers and, and, and has been working it for quite a long time with us. And the film is finally finished. We've, um, we've finally completed it. It's printed and it's in the festival, so uh, we're very excited. And working with Johnny Depp, what was that like? Uh, working with Johnny Depp's been fantastic. I've been privileged to work with um, one of the greatest artists, being Ralph, and also one of the greatest actors. Johnny is um, a fantastic actor, and a per apart from he's a fantastic person, uh, he worked brilliantly on the film. He, he, uh, he adopted um, the role and, and played it fantastically and uh, he's been a real privilege to work with. I, I, I must say I can't fault the man at all. He's, he's a fun guy to hang out with really. <laughs> And what kind of stuff did you get up to hanging out with Ralph and Johnny during the shoot? Um, uh, depends. Either Ralph is drawing people, uh, which is always a fun thing to film. I'm very focused on that part of the, of the job. Uh, Ralph has a thousand stories to tell, so he's always telling stories. Ralph always breaks at lunch, so there's always a lunchtime session. Uh, they play music together and Ralph is teaching Johnny the ukulele. Uh, we just generally... Um, do what you do in an artist's house really but Ralph beautifully um, has a lot of history so we just delve into stories and things that stories about Hunter with Johnny so that he's finding out about friends of his and and just um, just hanging in Ralph's studio really and how did those ukulele playing sessions go? Did Johnny pick it up quickly? Um, yes, he did. He did. Um, it was over lunch, so it was a short session. And um, yeah, he did. He's a guitarist, so uh, he struggled with the new chord sections. But uh, yeah, it was very funny. And uh, we captured it on film. Uh, and it's in the film, actually. A small section of that has been caught and, and played out in the film as it stands. And did you have a little go yourself? Uh, no, I don't. My children play ukulele. I uh, sadly can't. Now, what was it like working with a friend? Because you mentioned you are friends as well. Mm. Um, it's been fantastic. Fantastic. This is one of the reasons the film took so long to make. Uh, we spent a lot of time just uh, hanging out together, really. I'm a filmmaker, so I was able to film this whole process. But generally, um, uh, we've, we've grown to uh, love each other over 15 years, and um, we just have a good time together. Ralph enjoys having people in the studio working with him, and I've had such a privilege working with a genius, the man I've most admired in my life. That was the, um, the very reason I made the film, was uh, Ralph was possibly one of the biggest influences uh, in my career, really, as far as an artist is concerned. What's, what's so important about his artwork, do you think? Um, Ralph's art and himself, he is um, unpredictable and uh, very honest. So his work has always um, caused controversy and it's always created, um, created debate and it's always been coming from the right place. Ralph has always campaigned for good reasons and so uh, for no good reason was a good name for the film as far as we were concerned. What's it feel like having uh, the film at the London Film Festival this year? Um, it's a fantastic privilege. Uh, it is the first festival for the film, so it is a first outing. So we're obviously very interested in how it goes down. Uh, it's great. To be perfectly honest, it's a scrabble because we are in the process of obviously getting everything printed and out. So this last stage of presenting a film is often very hectic. So uh, we are just running at speed, getting it all done. Uh, but I think I can sit back now, now the film's printed and, and uh, as a, a cinema print, I can sit back and enjoy the rest of the process. Thank goodness, after 15 years of, uh, of working hard on this process, this is the, um, the best time. And anything else you'd like to say about For No Good Reason? Any kind of things that we should know, surprises we should look forward to? Uh, yeah, we got fantastic uh, contributors, uh, contributions from um, Hunter Thompson and William Burroughs and all these fantastic iconic figures, which Ralph has been filming all these years uh, since he's known him in the 70s. So we have a fantastic um, uh, kind of history uh, of these guys with Ralph, um, with fantastic new footage and great writings behind us. So I think actually, whether you like Ralph's work or not, the film itself um, has loads for everybody around. And what's up next for you, Charlie? I have a new film. Uh, the new film is in progress so I won't um, it won't take me 15 years that's for sure <laughs> it'll be a shorter project but I won't talk about that yet any little hints of what it might be is it going to be documentary kind of genre um, I work very much in a crossover so I like uh, stories
stories, uh, factual stories, but I recreate them in a um, in a filmic way. So it's very much an idea of taking a real subject, but creating very much like for no good reason, creating a new canvas of which to present this story, and it's along those lines.